Let's talk more about Coinbase with Owen Lau, Executive Director and Senior Analyst at Oppenheimer. Owen, uh, you got a, uh, you got uh, Coinbase at outperform. You got a price target of one hundred and sixty dollars. What does that imply in terms of momentum for Q1? Yeah, the, the momentum is pretty strong. It just at, as Alicia just said, the guidance in the first quarter is pretty strong. We are talking about subscription revenue at four hundred ten million dollars to four hundred eighty million dollars. This is around eight nineteen percent higher quarter over quarter. When we track the volume so far in the first quarter, it is also up around thirty eight percent in first quarter compared to fourth quarter. So the momentum continue to be strong. When we track the spot Bitcoin ETF inflows, um, it's also amazing. Alicia just mentioned the net inflow it's about four billion dollars year to day. I think that can continue to go up. So to me, the momentum continues to be strong for Coinbase in first quarter. I mean, uh, that said, what could go wrong? Coinbase is in the midst of a, a legal fight with the SEC. The regulatory environment, the regulatory framework is still being demarcated. Is that going to be a risk? Yeah, this is definitely a risk. Um, we also think about this regulatory overhang. When many other jurisdictions have this regula regulatory clarity, in the United States, we still don't have one. And Coinbase is still in the middle of this fight with the SEC. And we don't know the outcome. The outcome is uh, highly unpredictable. But I have confidence that uh, Coinbase will fight uh, with the SEC and probably can prevail at the end. But right now, we are still in the middle of the ground that uh, we still have a lot of uncertainty from the regulatory standpoint. But we are moving into the right direction because there are a lot more uh, court cases coming out from uh, Grayscale and also Ripple. So um, I think we are moving into the right direction. And uh, profitability in, in Q4, Owen, how sustainable is that? So we hope that based on the first quarter trend, uh, it can carry on to the full year of 2024. But we'll see. Right now, we, we are still in the early innings of these um, Bitcoin adoption, we see more institutional money coming into this space. We see trading volume keeps going up. We also see stablecoin revenue uh, start uh, going up as well. So my prediction is um, they can sustain this profitability at least in, 20, uh, in 2024. But we'll see, like it's still a long, long way to go uh, for 2025. But right now, at least at this point, we predict uh, pretty uh, sustainable profitability over the next few quarters.